View technically training highlights. Right, boys. Let's see what you've got. Give them a chance, Tony. That's it! How do I stand a chance against Super Strikers with you, Hooded Hoodlums? The Moof Monster would make a better soccer player than you lot! <sighs> View, uh... Primetime television. He's this season's top goal scorer, and he hopes to add to his tally when he takes on Technicali in L.A. Shakes, how do you do it week after week? Ah, uh, view. I call it the zone. Huh? The zone. Can you be more specific, perhaps? It's like when all the pieces of the puzzle come together. Skill, training, discipline, teamwork. That's what I call the zone. Okay, so how do you get into the zone? I have no idea. I just do. And that's when I feel unstoppable. Well, I'm sure plenty of people would just love to get into that head of yours and discover the zone for themselves. Yes. Get into that head and steal the zone for my team. <laughs> Ah, Mr. Shakes, uh, let me say what a pleasure it is to have you here at Chateau Marchand. Thanks, man. Your room key. Uh, sorry, I think this is the wrong room. We always get booked in under our jersey numbers. No, this is your room number. No, this isn't even any number on our team. No! Shakes, are you being difficult again? Apologies, Mr. Concierge dude, but our friend here has some serious jet lag. Welcome to L.A. Best of luck against Technicali, etc. Blah, blah, blah. Whoa! It was an innocent mistake, Shakes, dude. Maybe there's someone important staying in room number 10. No, I I'm in room 20. You are superstitious super striker, Shakes? Whoa! It's like all the other rooms! <laughs> you are in the zone, Shakes. The arrogant, overblown superstar zone. Ignore them, Shakes, man. They know the zone is real. All great sports people find themselves in the zone sometime. Be cool. And don't forget Coach's special training tomorrow, whatever that means. Yeah! Tony Vernon and his cap cohorts are not taking those three Super League points from us, dude. The Ron Nevitt suite? Rock star? Movie star? Well, now Ron Nevitt's suite is home. To the soccer star. Huh? Huh? Whoa, weird. California dreaming? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> this is no dream, Shakes. Coach? That's my name. Shakes Coach. Where are we? W what's going on? <laughs> uh, um, um, you're in a VRCPT. A virtual reality chamber pod. Thing. Whoa! Okay, this rocks! So how's it work? You're suspended in a gel bubble at our local training facility. And we're going to make it seem like you are playing football for real. Okay. Uh, why? Because my players... I mean, your teammates could benefit from having brainical zonage induction. It's brilliant! We find out which part of your brain controls the zone, then force zonalation in the other Super Strikers during the game. The others don't need my help. They all rock! That's what makes us cool! We're like Vulture! Enough! I mean, you're right, Shakes. But imagine if we could all share our unique skills. What do you need to recreate the zone? Uh, a ball? Activate ball. Yeah! 804? Or was that 904? Nothing special about this training! Coach, you can't blame us! All this talk about the zone, the TV appearances, the magazine covers, have all gone to Shake's head. I trusted you guys to keep him focused. We did, Coach! We saw him go into his room last night. Dude was so anti that mix-up with his key! Mix-up? Stop! Nice, thank you. Uh, whatever you did. Shakes was booked in under his jersey number, 10. No, no, coach. Uh, someone more important even than me was staying in number 10. Really? First I've heard of it. Chateau Super Strikers coach here. Good morning, coach. How is your practice going 
May I speak to the front desk person who booked us in last night? Yes. Of course, Coach. Bring me the chicken book. No, the huh? chicken book. The chicken book. Just a moment, Coach. There's no name in here. Uh, I'm afraid we don't know who helped you last night. Hmm? This is uh, oh. most irregular. Hmm. Like me, I'm also not very regular. Where are you, Shanks? Uh, I'll need opposition. Activate Skara. <gasps> hey, Shakes. Huh? Wow, it's great to see you. Uh, I just want to say how much respect I have for you Coach? as a player, man. Why is Skara acting weird? He is? Yeah, he's being all nice to me. <laughs> Big ups, bro. Oh! Oh, right. Um, you and Skara are arch rivals. This should fix it right up. What you looking at, loser? <laughs> now that's Skara. This isn't soccer, coach. This isn't real. The zone's about being in the right place at the right time. Tell me what you need, Shakes. Let's make the environment exactly as you need it to recreate the zone. Uh, okay. Um, add lines? Yes. Uh, add goals? Yes. Stadium? Yes. The whole of Invincible United. <laughs> Victory will be mine! Huh? Oh, uh, ours. Mm, carry on. I'll watch from outside. <laughs> when Super Strikers face us, they will have to contend with 11 players. 11 players in the zone! <laughs> 24 hours. This is long enough to declare Shakes officially missing. Long as long as here. Me too. Feeling bad about being tough on the dude. Shakes can handle that. He can handle fame too. Something else has happened. What? The guy is my strike partner. I know him well. So what do we do? We go back to where he was last seen. Don't worry, Shakes. Nothing will distract me from tracking you down. Hey, this is much nicer than my room. Luxury fittings. Ooh. Fully automated fanciness. Classy views outside and inside. But the best feature is the super king-size bed, fit for a soccer king! <laughs> ah. Sorry, Shakes, I will find you. But I'm just going to have a little... The techno bear. He has sharp claws and long blue hair. Huh? Huh? Yes, Shakes. Yes, yes. It's no. Ah! Come on, come on. Honestly, Coach, I'm finding this all a bit weird. It's really not how we should be preparing for the Technicali game. Mm -hmm. But I've given you everything you've asked for. Yeah, but it doesn't feel real. I need the energy of a game. I need the madness, the noise, the chaos. I need the fans. Well, why didn't you say so? <laughs> now this is more like it. It's all up to you, Shakes. Find the zone, and Super League glory will be mine forever. <laughs> but do it soon, because the game is starting. I love the Ron Nevitt suite. Hmm? Huh? No! Oh. A secret trapdoor shoot? <laughs> that man thinks he owns this town. He has a suite here, and he brings all his dirty washing to moi. Hey, I wash sometimes three to four times a day. <laughs> Not you, four eyes. That's Ron Nevitt? That's the moof monster, Einstein. It's Tony Vern's suite. The Tony Vern? And I gotta deliver all his laundry to the hub before the game, so I can't stand around all day and yada. You coming or what? 
Hang on, Shakes. I'm coming to get you. M-I-A, or rather, M-I-L-A, missing in Los Angeles. With only minutes to go before a key game in their Super League campaign, hopes of finding Super Striker Star Striker Shakes are diminishing. Shakes is somewhere here at the hub. Klaus and Lanky start, and Shakes and El Matador will be back on the field before you can say, uh, full time? Sha! Sure. You better be back way before anyone's saying that. Hey, El Matador. If you're doing some investigation on enemy soil, I suggest a better disguise, ma. I never thought I'd be cheering for you, Shakes. But go! 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 This one's for the fans! The zone is located in the Associata Footballata! Hello? No time to enjoy yet another moment of my absolute genius! Coach? Download! Did you get that? Time to get these hoods to the team! Can I get out of here now? Coach? Now every technically player will be able to access the zone at the touch of a button! <laughs> <laughs> Game time, Mufi! Let's get fieldside. Anything you say, you lunatic. Whoa! Well, the show must go on. Excuse me? Despite the tragic circumstances. Coming through! Coach! the feeling I've been had. Don't worry, Shakes! I'm going to get you out of here! Yeah. <laughs> okay, now, we fight! Game on, and Super Strikers immediately get the upper hand. Looks like it's gonna be another one-sided game against the struggling Technicali. <laughs> Super Strikers have got the ball in a great position, but their second choice strike team has still got work to do. And they do it with style. Lanky's got an open goal. Doodly do. Oh, uh, someone just came out of nowhere. Wow. It's Chuck T. Chipperson. Well, what's gotten into him, Mac? No wonder Tony was so obsessed with the song. This is. Amazing! And that's one nil to Technicali! Tony Vern's men are showing flashes of brilliance out there! Is this really Technicali? Yes! Yes! Uh, uh, yes! I love these retro video games. <laughs> bloop, bloop, ping, ping. Oop, game over. Oh, well, I lose. Too bad. Back to the match, then. Come on, El Matador. Where are you? Hey ah! Ah! Ha! You stupid bubble. Prepare to meet your untimely demise. How? I don't know, but... Huh? Whoa, Mufi! You are the man! <laughs> Get out of jail free. Super Strikers have lost their star strike pair. And technically, you found their A game. Things are looking bad for coaches, man. <laughs> you said it, Matt. I've never seen Technicali play this well. Huh? Whatever the zone is, I'm pretty sure John J. Johnson Jr. is in it. Oh! Huh? I feel like I'm in the Twilight Zone, Brenda. Super Strikers get completely outplayed by Technicali, and other fans are cheering John J. Johnson's goal. 
it's not the goal they're cheering, Mac. It's the return of El Matador. With the Technicali mascot? El Matador, about time. What's going on here? It's me, Coach. Chase! Uh, Chase, what on earth are you doing in there? Long, long story, but I think I know what Tony is up to. <laughs> Looks like the Technicali mascot has switched sides. What? Fine movie. So be it. See if I can. Right. <laughs> Only just on the field. Olay! And El Matador is already making all the difference. Ah! What was that, Linda? It's the Technicali Goalkeeper! Oh, great work from the Goalie! Which one, Brenda? The Goalkeeper? This is embarrassing. See? It's not the Goalie, it's his cap! If what you say is true, if it's even possible, Tony Byrne can activate your level of football in each of his players. Yep, I just have to figure out a way to beat Technicali at my own game. Is this Technicali's chance to extend their lead? Not like that, Brenda. I don't get it. John J. Johnson was definitely in the zone before, so why not now? And why is Tony playing video games at a time like this? <gasps> uh, Coach? Tell him. Tony can only use the zone inducers once per player. The charge needed to activate the Associata Futbolata drains all the power from the hoods. So is there like a way we can downgrade Technicali's performance? There is indeed. We'll make Tony's plan run out of juice one player at a time. Only three left. That's all I need to teach that treacherous Mufi a lesson. And, uh... Beat Super Strikers, right? Yeah, yeah, whatever. This has to work. Strange strategy from Super Strikers. It's as if they're asking Technicali to shoot. Yes, now's our chance. Ah, it's like Eagle Eye in Technicali's mind. <laughs> Pity they're leading him straight off the pitch. All right, it's working. Yes, but Tony still has one zone activation left, and we're running out of time. Huh. I think I know how to make Tony waste his final zone. Stupid movie. I never liked you anyway. Boy, I'm going to show her. Oh, Muffy, I knew you'd come back to me! <laughs> Super! Strikers! Super! Super! Now the Technicali mascot is cheerleading the Super Strikers fans! Looks like Fatty is starting to defer and is having some trouble with his laces. All right, guys. Technicali are officially in the no-go zone. Let's show them what the real zone looks like. Herba, herba. See this, Brenda? Super Strikers are attacking the Technicali mascot! They're not attacking him, Max. In fact, that isn't Mufi! It's Shanks! He's okay! You did it, guys! But now, I really need to get out of this suit. I'm so alive, too. So alone. Nice work, buddy. 
Nice work, buddy! <laughs> so I guess the zone remains a secret, eh, Shakes? Sure does. Tony proved you can't control the zone, because it's not somewhere up here. It's in here. So finally, you can get some shut-eye in room number 10, Shakes. <laughs> yep, a long overdue mega- Hey, give me that. <gasps> hey! Huh? But that's Tony Vernsweet. Yeah, I know. Give me the move monster and all your smelly old clothes. I'm sleeping on the floor and getting the laundry done. Huh? <laughs> now, for the final step of my plan to drop this cute little petting zoo into a volcano! They say that talking to yourself is the first sign of madness. And anyone that goes up against us must be totally crazy. Strikers! How did you escape my deadly ninja shocks? No matter. The countdown has already started. <laughs> Minya! Forgot about injury time. All right, dudes, it's official. We're totally awesome. Super Strikers have made their silver screen debut in the action-adventure movie, Strike Team. Critics have complained that the film is as tasteless and hard to swallow as a weak old cracker, but that hasn't stopped it from dominating the weekend box office. If it carries on like this, Strike Team is said to be the biggest blockbuster since the desert epic, Sandst- Oh, hey! hey! I'm watching that! Yes, he didn't even get to the best part. Me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed the off-season, but it's time to get back to business. Our first game is away to Sultans. To make things worse, the temperature in the Middle East is skyrocketing. Ha! Come rain or shine, we'll beat them every time. You said it, Cool Joe. Before you get too confident, take a look at this. Iron Tanker known as the fittest team in the Super League. But not even the Alpine Muscle Men could stand up to the scorching Middle Eastern heat when they face Sultans today. Sultans are unbeaten at their home ground for 15 games on the trot. Congratulations on another great victory. Thanks, Lina. Iron Tank are a good team, but when it comes to playing under the desert sun, we are unstoppable. And we will prove it once again when we beat Super Strikers next week. Strong words from the Sultan's captain. Now let's see what Johan Uber has to say about the gift. Talk about sleeping on the job. <gasps> See you at the secret training compound at 0900. Sultans are no match for our skill and flair. But that's worth nothing if we can't last the 90 minutes. Gotcha, Coach Man. Sure thing, Coach. Cargo! But, uh, why 90 minutes? Are you being, like, serious, dude? The only way to play in these conditions is to keep possession, save your energy, and wait for the right time to strike. Take that! Good, but not good enough. Ha! Uh. Huh? Uh. I got it! What's wrong, coach? Don't you like our new moves? I asked you to practice passing, not choreograph a fight scene. 
<laughs> but our fans expect us to play with style. Yeah! This isn't a movie. You have to take the climate into account. Coach is right, guys. We try that fancy football in the heat, and we won't last five minutes. Some people just aren't cut out for show business, eh, hey, boss? You're telling me. Who? Oh, who on earth are you? I'm El Matador's body double from the movie. The skillful one has many important things to attend to, so he hired me to help out. And what exactly is the skillful one attending to at the moment? His tan. Oh, eh. This is pointless. Strike team, El Matador is the best. Strike team, El Matador is the best. Strike team. You know there are other lyrics yeah. to that song, right, brother? Really? I did think it was a little bit repetitive. Watch out, Sultans. Here we come. So, you gonna tell me why we're leaving a day early? And ruin the surprise? I don't think so. Super Strikers, welcome to the land of the mighty Sultans. Huh? <laughs> Apparently, Strike Team is huge here. Really? Then I must make a big entrance for my fans. <laughs> Rejoice, for your hero is here! Uh, huh? Huh? <laughs> Uh, huh? Uh, where are we? We will be traveling the last stretch of the journey on ground to help you get used to the heat. And what's more, I want no distractions. That means no games, no phone, Nine! and especially no body doubles. No! <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye, El Mati Double. No matter what happens to me in the desert, there's one thing I want you to remember. And pick up my laundry. Oh, dude! Sweating already! Good. A few more days of this, and you'll be more than acclimatized to the heat. Oh, burger dog vlog! Yeah. I read that tin tin as well. No water to quench our thirst. And no shelter from the blazing sun. No landmarks to guide us. No day spas for pampering. No safety from roving bandits. Yeah, desert is full of mortal peril. Ha! Nothing the strike team can't handle, right? <laughs> Trust me, there's nothing to worry about. Are we there yet? Nope. Are we there yet? No, ma. Are we there? No! Oh. All right, all right. Don't be so impatient. Are we? No! Why have we stopped? Raiders! Oh, not safe here. Told you. Ha! Rumor, myth, and legend, I say. No, no! It is all true! We must go back immediately! Yes, going back is definitely a sensible option, yeah? The only place we're going is to the game. But what about the... Uh, the raiders? Ah, nothing but silly superstition. Ah, uh, coach? Desert Raiders. Any excuse to have a good shout, hey? Who who are you? 
Huge fan! Massive fan! Strike Team is my favorite film! You forgot about injury time! <laughs> Cracks me up, you guys! <laughs> what do you want with us? Well, heard you were in the hood and thought, hey, how about a little friendly? Super Strikers versus Desert Raiders. Good ring to it, eh? Give us one good reason why we should play you, man! Yeah! Remember what I told you. Save your energy, keep the ball, and wait for the right moment to strike. Any questions? Uh, yeah. Ain't you dizzy, coach? Just <laughs> stick to my energy-efficient game plan. Don't worry, coach. These amateurs won't stand a chance. Yeah! yeah. We're gonna show them how real superstars do it. You are, since this ref is very doggy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, best we don't hound him. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think these dudes all have the same trainer? <laughs> <laughs> Wise men say, if dog is man's best friend, with friends like these, I wouldn't like to meet our enemies. <sighs> okay, <sighs> we're done. It's time for your Just Deserts. I said play simple. <laughs> Let's get him, dude! Murder him! Guys, one nil down is, is nothing. Yeah, it takes a lot more than that to beat the <laughs> striking. <laughs> oh, I can't feel my toes. <laughs> How can that be game over? It was never 90 minutes. <laughs> ah, must be in dog minutes. Guards, take them away. That gives me an idea. Strike team two. Game over. Ha! Brilliant! That's why I'm the king. Yeah. We lost the game, and I got the blues. This place smells as bad as El Matador's shoes. <laughs> hey! Trying to escape from your singing, Cool Joe. Now isn't the time to be arguing. Sure, we're in a bad situation, and I'll admit, it's partly my fault. But what have we learned here? That you can't play high fly. Totally mental. Action adventure soccer in the middle of the desert? Exactly. So next time, we'll be ready for the heat. If there is a next time. Mr. Security Spear Guy! Hey! How did you get out? You've never been so happy to see me. Yeah, me neither. Hmm. Nice one, Ma. Awesome, dude. Come here. You're the best, brah. Did you pick up my laundry yet? Hey, El Matadors. Yes, yes. Come on, we've got a game to get to. It's match day at the Oasis Palace. Super Strikers take on the Sultans in what should be a real scorching. Well, it couldn't be more scorching than in the commentary box, Brenda. This game isn't for your freedom. It's for something much more important. 
Super League points. Don't worry, Coach. I've got a new move that's gonna win this game for sure. Huh? <laughs> coach, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> After what we went through in the desert? You kidding me? Yeah, don't worry, Coach. This time, we're going to stick to your plan. For sure. One, two, three, Super, Super Strikers! Remember, guys, save your energy. Too late, dude. I think you used all my energy getting out of the field. <laughs> you know what they say. If you can't take the heat, uh, get ready to lose five nil. <laughs> I don't think I know that one. And we're underway. Strike is in possession. Rasta finds Tiger. Is he going to unleash a twisting tornado? More like a light breeze, Brenda. Normally, I'd say perfect for a day like today, but this is the Super League! Time for some Strikers magic. Stick to the plan, Chasemon. Oh, all right. Ugh. Give it up, Rasta. Sooner or later, we will run you into the dust. Super Strikers have all the possession, but it's as if they don't want to attack. And that brings an end to the first half, and it's dead even. More like dead boring. Someone needs to tell Strikers they're not playing piggy in the middle. Well, Coach is known for his unusual strategies. Could this be another tactical masterclass? We'll find out in the second half. Well done, guys. You're doing great out there. But the scores are still tied. You don't want us to play for a draw, do you? Don't worry. That was just phase one of my plan. Now here's what I want you to do in the second half. We're well into the second half and Strikers still show no sign of turning up the heat. Um... I said, I wish someone would turn down the heat, Brenda. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> what are you waiting for, Super Strikers? Huh? Sultans go on a blistering counterattack. Sultans are showing the flare Strikers are known for. Display of attacking football. Can the strikers make their way back into this game, or will the Sultans be too hot to handle? So much for the plan. Don't worry, Shakes Man. Coach knows what he's doing. You mean like when he got us captured by the Raiders? Now we all know that wasn't Coach's fault. You just gotta trust him. Maybe that's because Strikers can't run anymore. Strikers, now! <laughs> Thought you'd never ask mine. Wow, that's really leading it to the last minute, Captain. Wow, Super Strikers have suddenly come to life! Which way is it gonna go? I ain't telling, so you'll never know. Feel the beauty! <laughs> Ole! The Sultans just don't have an answer for Striker's Flare! Like they packed a 90 minute Super Strikers Goldfish into the last four minutes! Super Strikers have done it! What a comeback! I guess that's one way to beat the heat! <laughs> 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 You're the best, coach! Yeah! 
Saving our energy for the end of the game worked just like you said it would. I couldn't have done it without my team. Ah, oh, thanks, coach. Not you. Oh. Them. Oh. 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 What is going on here? You were too busy being action stars to follow my instructions. So I thought a bit of real action would bring you back to reality. So the, the radios were... were... all actors. Working for me. Hey, too, El Matty Double. Coach offered me a talk and roll. I couldn't turn that down. Whoa, wait a second. What about that giant castle in the desert? Surely you didn't do that as well. Well, actually, that was there already. We just had to take a break from filming Sandstorm oh. 2. <laughs> yeah, you too, Rufus. So getting lost in the desert, being kidnapped and locked in a creepy dungeon was all to teach us a lesson? But that's... that's... That's show business, baby. Yeah. Land. Super Strikers are hardly showing Colossus any of the ball. And even when they do get positioned, they've got a problem. A really big problem. And its name is Big Bull. It's not just his defensive powers Colossus have to watch out for. You said it, Brenda. With a throw like that, airplanes will have to watch out too. Uh, where's the ball? I can't see it. I don't have to. Because Bo hits the same spot every time. What a throw! Turning defense into attack in split seconds. Oh. And Shakes finishes the move with style. Three nil for Super Strikers. Great work out there, guys. Especially you, Big Bo. Thanks, Coach. You're gonna need all that confidence in our next game. Why? Who are we playing? It's not who. It's where. Oh. <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> New ringtone. What's the place called again, dudes? Ferretuvia, man. I don't like the sound of that. Ferrets are very dangerous with their sharp teeth and their scrapey claws. I have a nickname for them. Land rats. Then what do you call rats? Ground pigeons. Oh. It's Ferratuvia, man. Got nothing to do with them ferrets. I feel sorry for the fans that have to walk up that mountain every week. Ooh, I envy them. Ferratuvia has the best strudel in the world. Super Strikers! Yoo-hoo! How do you feel going up against Grim FC, the Super League's mysterious new side? Don't know much about them, Lena, but I do know that on our day, Super Strikers can beat anyone. Yeah, things are looking pretty grim for Grim FC. Hmm. Big Bo, <gasps> you played against Grim FC back in the lower leagues, didn't you? Well, uh, Lena, that, that that was a long time ago. And how does it feel to be facing them in the Super League after all these years? Uh, um, uh, uh, gotta go, Lena. Got a plane to catch. Hmm. I heard Grim FC only play games at night. Because they're vampires. <laughs> I heard that their go posts are like totally made out of bones of the teams they beat. Oh, oh, I heard <laughs> that the strudel has the juiciest filling and the crunchiest pastry. <clears throat> I heard Grim FC thrashed Invincible United 3 0. Now that's scary. Yeah, but they didn't have Big Bow in goals. Yeah, he is a rock. Who's on a roll? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. That's his secret man. Lots of shut eye. And I suggest we all do the same. It's anyone's ball! Oh, this is. This is so exciting! Oh, yes. Very impressive stadium. Not a stadium. It's a strudel. Yum! Welcome, Super Strikers. I am Coach Belmont. 
Good of you to let us stay here. Well, I couldn't possibly expect you to drive up and down the mountain every day. Not when we have so many rooms here. Come. Let me show you around. The cauldron may have all the idiosyncrasy of a creepy old castle, but it also has all the bells and uh, whistles of a modern stadium. Here is where we honour the best players ever to don the grim colours. Like... Spike Dawson. Uh, Dawson. Dawson. He could have been the best player in the world. What do you mean, could have been? Well, it's a sad and strange story. Perhaps some of you have heard it. His career was cruelly stolen from him just as he was reaching his peak. He was badly injured in a game and never played again. Oh, sucks, dude. It certainly does suck. We even retired his number 17 jersey in memory of him. So where's he now? Disappeared. But of course, there are always rumors. What kind of rumors? Locals say his ghost roams the cauldron, seeking revenge. All just silly superstition, of course. Part of me thinks awesome Dawson would never really leave us. <laughs> Come on, let me show you the training ground. Then can you show us where the strudel is? I don't think we have any. But I saw them deliver hundreds. Yep, Labrad's got them. This can't be! Ah! Right, Big Bo? Oh, uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Let's get to training. Hmm. Grim strength lies in their attack, so tight defense is going to be key to our game. You said it, bro! We're gonna close them out like a 20-foot wedge. Ain't that right, <clears throat> Bo, my bro? Big Bo? Hmm? Um, yeah, sure. All right, let's get to it! Klaus, coming at ya! I got it! I got it! I got it! Whoa! Man, I feel sorry for the ball boy at this place. What's wrong, Big Bo? I've never seen you miss a clearance. Nothing. My arm's just a bit stiff. Now, that ain't true, brother. You've been acting kind of weird ever since you got here. Yeah. It's probably just the altitude. Something wrong. Tell us. Yeah, bro, don't leave us hanging. Yeah. Yeah. Big Bo, man, I think it's time you tell them. Tell us... tell us what? I was the one who injured Spike Dawson. Ah, sorry. Here again. No ringtone. Go ahead. But you never injure anyone. Yeah, yeah man. Uh, not on purpose, anyway. It was all long before I joined Super Strikers. I had just been promoted to the first team when we played Grimm. I remember being so excited. I had a chance to test myself against THE awesome Dawson. It was a 50-50 ball. Spike came running in, and he came off second best. I tried to apologize, but he didn't accept. He said he'd never forgive me. The league board, the press, and even the Grimm fans all said that it wasn't Big Bo's fault. Soccer is a tough game. These kind of things happen, brother. Yeah, all the time, man. And blaming oneself not help. Yeah, come on. <sighs> Feels good to finally get it off my chest. Come on, guys. Grim FC aren't going to make this easy on us. Now that is the big bow I know. Big bow. Hello? 
Anyone there? It's a new fall! <laughs> this... this isn't real. No, no, no. I, I'm dreaming. around here trying to get our beauty sleep. His eyes. So much anger. Cool your potatoes, man. You ain't saying that. Spike Dawson's ghost is coming for me. And there's nothing anyone can do about it. There's something very weird going on around here. No, man. Guilt can be a powerful thing. Mindly tricks make you see things you bury deep down. Come on, guys. This is Big Bo we're talking about. Okay. We take a look around. But make it quick. We got to be fresh for the game tomorrow. How'd you guys sleep? Uh, how'd you think, man? El Matador. Get your face out your muesli, dude. Ah, I was pulled in by a strong current. I can't believe we searched this whole place. And found no ghost. Oh, Strudel. Big Bo's obviously been dumped by some monster emotional surf, dudes. And mine can only take so much. Guys, for the sake of this club and our friend, we really need to help Big Bo survive the 90 against Grimm. Welcome, welcome to Green FC versus Super Strikers. Watch, if you dare. Hey, cut that out, Mac. Oh, sorry, Brenda. Couldn't help myself. Grim may have got their kit from a Halloween store, but they're no fly-by-night outfit. Aye, they have looked good, but Strikers' defense will provide them their biggest test yet. Especially the mighty man in goal. The gravity-defying sensation. The immovable object, Big, Big Bow. Bo! Once you're out there, your instincts will kick in. Instincts kick in. Thank you, Captain. Big Bo just happens to see Spike Dawson's ghost the night before a big game? I smell a rat. You mean ground pigeon? No, a rat. Ah, land rat. Uh, no, I smell a rat. I smell the non-existent strudel. <gasps> Look! Sweet fruity aroma. Delicious crunchy pastry? Definitely strudel! Huh. That's weird. Who eats strudel before a game? Hey, somebody turn on the lights! I think I prefer to admit the lights off. Game on, and Grimm have started on the front foot. Great cross into the box. Well, not that great. <sighs> it's straight into Big Bow territory. Big Bow, your ball, dude. Bow, get it. Luck <laughs> makes an amazing goal line clearance. But what happened to Big Bo? This is not the goalie who strikes here in the opposition, but he is causing a lot of frustration for Coach. Grim have broken through. Come on, Bo. Use your instincts. <laughs> Big Bo should have bought a ticket because he spent the whole game just watching. Eagle Eye. Warm up! Man, this is bad. And I can't even do anything about it. I know how you feel, yeah? All the delicious strudel is in the one place we cannot go. Huh? Wait, 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 wait. Klaus, that's it! The home changing room! It's the only place we didn't look last night! Now's my chance. 
Only 30 minutes gone and Strikas are already making a change. I'm surprised to see Shakes come off. Doesn't surprise me, Brenda. Big Bow is in big trouble out there. So another defender may be just what Strikas need. Nothing. Spike Dawson's number. Wait a second. Belmont said they retired jersey number 17. So why would they need a number 17 locker? Unless... <gasps> it's not a locker at all! <gasps> well, that explains one mystery. No ways. 45 minutes gone. And with Big Bo playing the way he is, Grim FC must be the luckiest team in the Super League, Brenda. Never thought I'd hear myself say this, but should coach sub Big Bo? <sighs> Bo, I've never seen you play so badly. What's wrong with you? I... I... He thinks the ghost of Spike Dawson is out to get him. He what? I saw him last night. I swear it. Big Bo, I can promise you that beyond a shadow of a doubt, there is no such thing as... What are you all looking at? El Matador, give me your Lamborghini or face my wrath! Yeah. <laughs> anything, anything, just don't hurt me, Sheik's ghost. Hey. Wait a second. When did you die? <laughs> okay, you got me. It's a hologram. Ah. <laughs> what on earth is going on here? Big Bo did see a ghost. Well, someone wanted him to think he did. This whole stadium is, is linked to a control room. There's all kinds of effect stuff here. Ah, yeah. Check it out. Is anyone crying? Cobra, Cobra! Dude! So it was all a low-down setup. A sneaky trick to mess with his head. But I can't believe I fell for it. But who would do this? Everything is going according to your plan, Mr. Dawson. Oh, sorry about that. Twisting Tiger sent me a fantastic new ringtone. When we win this game, Big Bo's confidence will be crushed. His career will be ruined, just like he ruined mine! But boss, are you sure you want to- Silence! Tell the team to show no mercy! <laughs> We're back on with the second half! And Grim FC are starting where they left off! <laughs> Revenge tastes good! <laughs> Brilliant pass! Grim are through on goal! Open goal! He can't miss! What? <laughs> Where on earth did that come from? I have no idea, Brenda. But there's one thing I do know. The big man is back! No, 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 no! This is amazing! It's as if Bo's confidence is spreading to the rest of the team! You said it, Brenda! Strikers are back from the dead! Goal! <laughs> A brick wall couldn't have stopped that one! We're in the final few seconds of one of the strangest matches I've ever seen! You said it, Brenda! Bo has gone from unwatchable to unbeatable! But his work's not done yet! Here comes another grim attack! What a move from Big Bo! A defense and attack all in one! <laughs> Feel the beauty! Hey! What about the Matador, people? Yeah. You did it, man! <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't have done it without my teammates! <laughs> Oh no! Now I am oh. seeing the ghosts! That no ghost? That's... that's... Awesome Dawson! Mm. 
Maybe he needs no nickname. Big yeah. Bo! Awful Dawson. You wanted me to think I was crazy. You're not so awesome, Dawson. Don't talk to me about crazy. Dawson's creep. All these years, the only thing I thought about is how you ended my career. Uh, silly pants, Dawson. As long as I'm in charge of Grim FC, this team's only purpose will be to destroy you. That's why you're no longer in charge. Huh? I spoke to the board. We're here to win the Super League, nothing else. How dare you? I'm the greatest player this club has ever had. All of you would be nothing without me. My men are here thanks to hard work, skill, and because they don't blame others for their problems. Big Bo ruined my career! You could have tried to come back from your injury, but instead you used it as an excuse to mope around eating strudel. You don't understand. The strudel is so delicious. Mm -hmm. There's another difference between you and Grim FC. Oh yeah? What's that? We don't need holograms to be scary. No, 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 get away from me! Get away from me! I have strudel! I'll give you strudel! Strikers, I wanted to apologize for everything. Don't worry. Spike Dawson is filled with so much hate. And strudel! If I hadn't confronted my guilt, I could have ended up the same. Well, anyway. Here's some strudel as a farewell gift. We have quite a lot of it left over since Dawson left. <laughs> no thanks, man. Yeah, we've seen how bad that is for your health. Uh, maybe just fun for the road. <laughs> hmm. Palmentieri have a one-goal lead. Can they hold out, Mac? I don't think they have enough players, Brenda. The Samba Kings are <gasps> dropping like flies. And Invincible United are the fly swatter. Boo! That wasn't a tackle. It was a uh, uh, salt. Donaldo goes on the attack. Brilliant skills from the captain. And it looks like he's just getting warmed up. Ooh, I gotta do everything myself. Once again, Invincible play dirty and get away with it. Don't worry, Shakesman. The Super League takes dangerous play very seriously. They'll sort United out. <laughs> they better do it soon or there won't be any teams left. Well done, Skara. Once again, you've made us look like the dirtiest team in the Super League. <laughs> Why, thank you. That wasn't a compliment. The Super League disciplinary board is going to be all over us. Perhaps <laughs> I could be of assistance. Who are you? I'm the guy who's going to make your bad reputation disappear. Now, I'm going to ask you one more time. Who are you? In your top pocket, Vince. Otto Von Drake, illusionist extraordinaire. So, what? You perform tricks at birthday parties? I can do a great many things, Skara. Whoa. Okay, you have my attention. Now, what do you want? What all illusionists want, to astound and amaze. Mm. To make the impossible a reality to turn your expectations upside down. Uh -huh. And for my next great illusion, I would like to make Invincible United the cleanest team in the Super League. And Super Strikers the dirtiest. <laughs> now that's my kind of magic trick. Huh? weekend of heart-thumping football action, but there was thumping of another kind as Invincible United battered Club Palmentieri with a dreadful display of low Tell me about it. football. Mm -hmm. The Super League head honchos have stated they'll be keeping an extra oh. close eye on Vince's side. Hmm. About time. Especially in the big derby coming up against Super Strikers. In response, Invincible United have issued this unusual statement. Huh? Uh -oh. Friends, neighbors, teammates, there's been a lot of talk going around about dirty play. Sure, Invincible United may have played dirty in the past, hired other people to play dirty for us, 
built robots to help us play dirty, taught those robots to build other robots to help us play even dirtier. But hey, who has it? <laughs> What's important <gasps> is that we've learned from our mistakes and are ready to turn over a new leaf. <laughs> Presenting the Invincible United Fair Play Monument. Because everyone deserves a second chance. They sure do, <laughs> Timmy. My name's huh? George. And <laughs> cut! Oh. Somebody get this back to the agency. It's stinking up my suit. Ugh, what a waste of time. No one's ever gonna believe us. Ha! When Houdini said he'd bury himself alive, no one believed him. When Copperfield said he'd make the Statue of Liberty disappear, no one believed him either. All great illusions start with disbelief, and I, Otto Von Drake, will create the greatest illusion the world has ever seen! Yeah, yeah, right, we get it. What now? Now, we invite some volunteers up onto our stage. The Invincible United Fair Play Monument? <laughs> That's like the El Matador Award for modesty. Well... I am the most modest person in the whole world. <laughs> when Vince got the child's name wrong, I laughed so hard I shot milk through my nose. <laughs> and I wasn't even drinking milk. <laughs> <laughs> but Vince knows no one will believe him. Why bother? Probably just trying to distract us, man. He's done more huh? than that. He's invited us to the Fair Play Monument's grand unveiling. Yeah. Nice pajamas, loser. I mean, very nice to see you, Shakes. Now why don't you shake hands to show that there are no hard feelings? <laughs> ah, what was that? I didn't see anything. Me neither. Hmm. I don't get it. Me neither, man. A united monument to fair play. Just makes no sense. No, 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 no. Not that. I don't get what this has to do with me being so modest. Canapes, gentlemen? <laughs> Maybe the bronze statue reminds shakes of my tan muscle. You! <laughs> oh, that tastes like feet wrapped in more feet. Where'd the waiter go? Don't know, man. Weird. All right, buddy. Party's over. Huh? No! That went perfectly. Huh. A magical evening doesn't count as a grand illusion. Have some patience, Scar. Face it, Vince. Hocus Dorcas ripped you off. So it would seem. But misdirection is the cornerstone of all great illusions. For instance, what do you see here? The stupid fair play monument, obviously. Is it really just a fair play monument? Hmm? <laughs> this is where I will teach you and your teammates the last step of our illusion. Finally, some action! So, what do you want me to do? Allow me to illuminate my plan. Coach, you're right, man. You may want to sit down for this. Super Strikers and Invincible United have always represented the opposite sides of the game. Flair against force, skill against scheming, Coach's Amazoneers versus Vince's Bad Asseters. But with only days until the two Super League Giants meet, there's been a big role reversal. Oh. An anonymous source has sent us this shocking footage. Handshake for fair play? Oh. Yeah, right, says Shanks. <laughs> nice one. I didn't do that. El Matador spits in the face of fair play. Literally. Hey, they took out that waiter. What a con, dudes. Don't you worry, man. It's the team that trains hardest who wins trophies, not the one with the best practical jokes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but if we can get that security footage, we can totally expose United's dirty tactics. Right now, let's focus on our own training. I have something new set up for you guys at the secret training compound. 
this time they have gone too far, Kujo. Tell me about it, Tiger. Hey, Spence, I got a big favor to ask you. Man, I could really use a burger. Now, let's see what we have here. Gotcha. We've seen that Invincible United will use every dirty trick to get what they want. But this time, we're going to be ready for them. Presenting the Gauntlet. United will bring you down every chance they get, so you'll need lightning fast reflexes. When up against the physical team like United, agility and balance are essential. Fermentor! Yes, strength is important too. Hey, coach, what's the point of this? Ouch! Be ready for anything. Stupid robot girl, that's the last time I give her my autograph. Hey, Spins, did you find the tape? Oh, I found a lot more than that. United are so going down. Woohoo! There. Hey, that waiter put something down my shirt. And there he is again, serving El Matador dodgy snacks. That's it, Spenza. The proof we need to take Vince and Scarra <laughs> down. But the best part's still coming up. What do you mean? Just watch. A secret what? passage behind the Fair Play Monument. Classic Invincible United. Man, I thought this was just about making us look bad. But there's something much bigger going on here. Whatever United are up to, that's where we're gonna find out what it is. Oh. Oh. Welcome to the Super League's biggest grudge match, Invincible United versus Super Strikers. Vince's men may have a reputation as the dirtiest team in the league, but it's Super Strikers who've been causing all the controversy of late. What's he doing here? I know you're up to something, Skara. <laughs> Just wait till kickoff, Shakes. You won't know what's hit you. Game on, and Super Strikers go straight into the attack. Super Strikers may have a new bad boy image, but their football is as good as ever. And the Super League board will be happy that it's been a squeaky clean match so far. Uh, what's going on? Where's your grand illusion? A good magic trick takes time, Vince. First, you show the audience that you have nothing to hide. <laughs> oh, ha! <laughs> but you are actually directing their attention away hey! from what's oh. really going on. My wallet! Now, Watch. Too slow, muchacho. What? Oh! El Matador hits the ground like a sack of potatoes. But there's no contact from Dingon. Ref, that was a wrestling move. Come on, El Matador. He was nowhere near you, man. Claro. I swear he fouled me. Hmm. Now, what was that handshake again? You open! Pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man. <gasps> ha! No 
ways. Time to find out what United are up to. I don't believe it. This is a real goal-scoring opportunity, Brenda. It's a penalty! That tackle was dirtier than my mustache on spaghetti night! Blah, blah, blah! I don't know, bro. It did look like you fouled him. Skara steps up. And he puts it away with ease! And it's no more than United deserve. They've been better at everything today. Except for fouling and diving, that is. Try to stop this. How about time? What? And Shakes gets a yellow card for diving. And that brings an end to the first half. More like the first round, Brenda. Super Strikers need to take off their boxing gloves and put on their soccer boots. I don't believe it. There's nothing here. Why go to all this effort to hide an empty room? This will truly be my greatest illusion. And our greatest victory over Super Strikers. Illusion? <gasps> of course! A magician! I gotta tell Shakes! What's going on out there? Fouling? Diving? That's not how Super Strikers play. I don't know, Coach. There's some bad juju going down. He's right. It's like they were fouling us without... without fouling us. Is that really the best you can come up with? You're all going to get sent off if you carry on hey. like this. Oh, what's this? Huh? Whoa. Ow! Let go of me! What's going on here? I caught this vandal graffitiing the stadium. What? I don't know what he's talking about. Oh, yeah? Then what do you call this? I call it caught red-handed. More like green-handed. <laughs> All I know is that I was on my way to tell you guys about the magician when this thug jumped me. Wait, what magician? That waiter guy. Vince hired him to pull off some grand soccer illusion. Now, can somebody get this guy off me? You heard him, man. <sighs> magician, eh? Come on, guys. Whoa. I think I know what's going on here. Whoa. Whoa. What is it, dude? Some kind of code. Uh, or a magic spell. No, man. It's backwards. Oh. These are instructions on how to foul and dive using illusions. So when Skara said I wouldn't know what hit me, he meant it literally. This whole thing. The fair play monument, the videotape, the game, it's... It's part of one big trick. To make United look good. And us look dirty. Listen to this. Draw the audience to what you want them to see so they don't see what's really happening. So when United tackle, everyone is so busy watching their front foot that they don't see those dirty cheats tripping us with their trailing leg. I think it's time we show United they're not the only ones who have mastered sleight of... foot. Football is full of illusions, man. A step over, a back heel, these are all ways to misdirect your opponent. Now get out there and weave some Super Strikers magic. One, two, three, Super Strikers! And we're back on with the second half. Let's hope there's more football and less play acting from Super Strikers. I see it. Dancing Rasta looks for Cool Joe out wide. <laughs> you can foul without being seen, but I can pass without even kicking the ball. Oh, brilliant improvisation from the funky winger. What a move! Tony! And what a goal! Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> don't worry, even the best performers have an off night. That goal has given Super Strikers the confidence to take control of this game. Goal! 
coach must have conjured up one heck of a halftime speech, cause the men in red are back to their sparkling best. No more illusions. It's time for some real value. United, take him out! You'll have to catch me first. Remember the gauntlet, Shakes. Invincible United can do worse. <laughs> Looks like United have given up on the magic tricks and are back at their old dirty tricks. How about we try a magic trick of our own? Strikers are about to take the free kick and United can't believe their eyes. Almost the whole team is lined up to take it. <laughs> hey, where's the ball? Africadabra. You have to see that place double even. So let's look at the replay. Brilliant piece of misdirection from El Toro. And Shakes finishes the move with a bang. I told you this stupid plan would work. Well, I want my money back, or I'm going to make you disappear. Uh -huh. Yes. Well, you see, shut up! <laughs> Where'd he go? After him! <laughs> hey, buddy! The exit's the other way! <laughs> now that's what I call misdirection. <laughs> <laughs> Dudes, you ready to rock out? <laughs> You'll be fine, Block. Me and my board surf much bigger waves without getting a scratch. That board looks like it's been ridden over with a fire truck. All right, all right. Maybe we got a few scratches. But come on, dudes. We're the Super Strikers defense. Nine minutes gone, and what a cracking game it's been. Block, watch the left wing. Great balance and poise from North Shaw. He looks for shakes with the long pass. Oh! Another clean sheet for Super Strikers. How do you guys do it week after week? It's just like dropping into a wave. Give it your all, stay focused, and always keep cool under pressure. Ha! What does that kook know about pressure? Don't worry. We're gonna squeeze the air out of that windbag. Great defense against Nakama. You tamed one of the league's best attacks with ease. But Hydra will give you an even tougher test. Their high-pressure game has crushed some of the Super League's best defenses. Ah, please. Klaus's water wings got more pressure than those guys. Yeah, last time I blew them up, I almost fainted. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've seen Hydra sink plenty of great teams. That's right. Pay attention, or we'll be next. Watch how much pressure Hydra put on Dingan. Hydra closes down the space and blocks off all potential passes forcing errors from defenders. Those brothers must do some crazy fitness training to keep that up. Their stamina is very impressive. Nothing our defense can't handle, right, coach? Well, Block is the best tackler in the league. Bravo! Eagle Eye can spot danger a mile away. You have food stuck in your teeth. Er, uh, thanks. Mm -hmm. But North is our key man. His link-up play with the midfield is how we relieve the pressure. Talking about pressure, dudes, check this out. Low-pressure system heading right for the floating stadium. 
That doesn't sound good. Whole stadium could sink in storms. Yeah, sink under the biggest, meanest, gnarliest waves you've ever seen. Whoa! I've been assured the floating stadium has ways of handling even the most severe storm. on the open ocean, the wind in your hair, the salty air in your nostrils. The seagull on your head. Huh? Huh? Oh, 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 oh. Hey, give it back, you <laughs> stupid bird! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you got a new fan, El Matador. If he wants a piece of my hair, he has to pay for it like all my other fans. What's a seagull doing in the middle of the ocean, man? Look. I always forget how impressive the floating stadium is. Wow. Uh, north? The stadium's this way. North? Hey guys, I, I think huh? there's something wrong with North. Maybe he's been hypnotized. Or swapped for a body double? Even worse. Good surf. The mighty roar, reclaiming its majesty to all who dare approach it. The glassy surface, reflecting our insignificance in the universe. This is Tube Heaven, dudes! <laughs> huh? Not gonna happen, North. I can't risk my key man getting injured before the game. But, but, but the tubes! Sorry, North. No tubes for you. But how about some cones? Ah! Oh, not <laughs> cool, Coach! You guys ready? Dude, we were born ready! Then here we come! <laughs> Great work, North. Thanks, Coach. Play like this in the game, and Hydra will be the ones under pressure. Hmm. On my way, loser! Ah! North Shaw's looking good. Real good. Bummer. That's gonna mess up our game plan. What are we gonna do, Laquita? Ha <laughs> ha. That's easy. We get him in the water. <sighs> man, that high-pressure defense killed me. How do Hydra keep it up for 90 minutes? Doesn't matter, man. We have the perfect man to break up their play. Perfect? Break? Dude, stop reminding me what I'm missing. Don't worry, man. There'll be plenty more surf coming our way after the game. That's not all that's coming our way. Hey, hey, check out the Gromit Squad. I hope your losers brought your water wings. Yeah, of course. They are in my bag. Back off, Liquido. Seriously. I see you like to flap your lips. But I guess you get lots of practice flapping around the white water, you squid-faced ho-dad. Whoa. Oh, no, he didn't. That's quite a perler. Coming from a guy who does so much perling. <laughs> you guys understand a word they're saying? Nein, but it sounds very exciting. Why don't you step into my office for a little board meeting? You're on! North Shaw! Huh? You promised Coach you'd stay out of the water. Yeah! Why don't you be a good little boy and listen to your coach? Whatever, dude! <laughs> now we wait. Don't worry about that guy, North. Yeah, he is the one who is a kooky squid face. Or, or was that a squiddy kook face? Yeah, North, you are a lucky charm. Look, lucky airlock number eight. We need you calm and focused for the game. Relax now, surf later. <sighs> but surfing is how I relax. <laughs> hey, do you guys know where? <laughs> Watch. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, uh, do you think I will catch something? <laughs> Something's already caught you, brother. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you dirty trouser thief! Come back here or I'll uh, have you arrested! <laughs> guys, there's something I really need to... Huh? Wow, the police here are very quick. This, this is a high swell warning. warning. Make, Make sure, sure everyone is accounted for and proceed to the nearest airlock. Airlock? Sounds serious. Does this mean they're going to call off the game? 
No, this is apparently standard operating procedure. Let's make sure everyone is here. That's what I've been trying to tell you. I haven't seen North Shaw all morning. Don't worry, man. I'm sure North is already inside, taking it easy. <laughs> gotcha. Now to get ya. Hurry up. We don't have much time. Drop in on you. on the Quido, I'm gonna... Oh no! The game! I gotta get back to the... Stadium? Whoa! 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 Somehow, Whoa just doesn't quite cut it. We've been on some crazy adventures, but this takes things to a whole new level. Yeah, below sea level. They do say the bottom of the ocean is the calmest place in a storm. Until the game starts, anyway. Uh, speaking of the game, has anyone found North? A burger block! We found this in North's room. W wait you guys don't think that... I totally suck! Everyone was depending on me and I bailed on them? Ugh! Uh. You must be pretty bummed too. I bet your house is down there. Uh. I guess that's why you wanted to live on my noggin. Uh. You're totally right! I, I can't give up so easily. It is pretty far down. You think I can make it? Uh. Thanks, dude! You're the best! Uh. You know what? Why don't you crash on my board till I come back? If I come back. Guys, uh, huh? I've done everything I can. The stadium is locked down for the duration of the game. Oh no! What? Blagazar! Don't even say that, brother! If anyone can handle the ocean alone, it's North Shaw. But our whole game plan is based around him. Grizz, you feeling better? 100%, coach! Good. You're in the starting lineup. <laughs> it's Hydra versus Super Strikers live from the floating. uh. Sinking stadium. Yeah, I've heard of wet conditions, Brenda, but this is just ridiculous. Talking about ridiculous, for some reason coaches put Grizz in the heart of the Super Striker's defense instead of North. I hear you got a man overboard. Oh yeah? And what would you know about that? Hey, I tried to warn him that the surf is for pros only. Gear? But why? Whoa! An underwater soccer pitch? <laughs> this is what I call high pressure soccer. This is like playing in slow mo. Gnarly dudes. <laughs> Too cool, but super tiring. This must be how Hydra work on their stamina. Wait a second. Hydra, the game! I gotta let them know I'm out here! Fifteen 
and it's gone. And it's one way traffic, Brenda. Super Strikers haven't gotten out of their own half yet. Good save from Big Bo. But Super Strikers Reserve Defender seems totally out of his depth here. Now more than ever, Super Strikers fans must be wondering where North Shaw is. So am I, Brenda. So am I. Oh, dudes! Not looking good! Huh? <laughs> Super Strikers are going south without North. They're squeezing us like... like... <gasps> a giant octopus! Super Strikers are totally at sea without North Shaw's link of play. You said it, Mac. Without that bridge between defense and attack, they're just treading water. Okay, maybe you're not fine. Uh, uh, uh. brother! He's alive! But not for long. We gotta do something. Alright, they've seen me! And all it took was a giant octopus and a futuristic underwater jetpack. Hey, that gives me an idea. Hey, it's just like Twisting Tiger said. Lucky number eight. Lucky airlock number eight. I'll be right behind you guys. Seems to be some kind of problem on the Super Strikers bench. Can someone tell me how all my first choice defenders just disappeared into thin air? Not air, dudes! Water! North Shaw! Hey, dudes! North! I'm so happy to see you. I'm so tired of being seasick. <laughs> okay. It's cool, Grizz. It's cool. Huh? How did he get back in uh, here? Doesn't matter. <laughs> it's too near. There's nothing he can do. The second half is well underway, and Super Strike's defense is back to full strength. But why have they only brought out North Shaw now? Who knows why these coaches do the things they do, Brenda? With the men in red trailing 2 0, North's got his work cut out for him. Nice of you to drop in, North. I hope your football's better than your surfing. Liquido? Huh? You intentionally derailed me so I'd miss the game! Huh. That was an innocent mistake. That's for taking my wave. And this is for shake. What a goal from Super Strikers. Only just 
just on the field, and North Shaw has already made his mark. Never mind the ocean. Those moves of his are from outer space. Guys, don't let your guard down just yet. That gives me an idea, Captain. If I can borrow a plan from the local wildlife, we're going to steal Hydra's pants? <laughs> oh, brilliant. Not the seagull, the octopus. You dudes ready to get out there and put the pressure on Hydra? Yeah! yeah. One, two, three, Super Strikers! Well, I think it's safe to say Super Strikers are settling for a draw. I've never seen coaches' men play so defensively. I guess the pressure finally got to them. Ha! Chickens. Everyone, push forward! Time to send you posers packing! Hydra are sending more and more players forward, but Super Strikers are just sitting there! All right, dudes! Surprise octopus attack! Super Strikers have caught Hydra totally by surprise! Irritating Seagull Pass! Ha-ha! Two arms just ain't gonna cut it, dude! Cause I just been up against eight! Well, North, you really left your mark on Hydra. On the pitch and on their stadium. <laughs> I'm just glad my feathered bro got a new crib. So the seagull was on our side all along? What a noble, majestic <coughs> animal I am! <coughs> Why, you beast! When I get my hands on you, I'm gonna bake you in a pie! <laughs> Surf's up, dudes! As Mount Keen continues to blast volcanic ash into the atmosphere, all air travel has been suspended. Soccer fans around the world are scrambling to find other ways to get to the big Super Strikers Invincible United Derby. Huh, <laughs> not just the fans. Stupid volcano. Doesn't it know I only travel on private jets? Ugh, it's gonna take us years to get home by train. That's why I always travel with an Inspector Von Spectre mystery story. This one's called The Mystery of the Missing Mystery Train. It's about a mysterious train that goes missing. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, come on, Shakes. It's going to take a lot more than that to beat Invincible United. Yeah, brother. Why don't you try out that fancy new shot of yours? The knuckleball? No, no, it's not ready. Come on, Shakes. Give us a sneak preview. All right. But don't say I didn't warn you. Never mind us. You should have warned the janitor. Pity you won't have a chance to perfect it before you face Skara. Don't be so sure. Come, our train is here. Whoa, classic! Whoa. Incredible! Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, I take it back. I wish there would be volcanic eruptions more often. And that's not even the best part. Latest invention. Oh, awesome. The training coach. Uh, aren't you our training coach? It's a coach on a train, El Matador. Uh, aren't you coming on the train with us, coach? Uh, it's a coach on a train that trains you like a coach. I don't get it. Oh, Bo! 
This is just like the train in Inspector von Spectre and the mystery of the missing mystery train. With me, Klaus von Klinkerhofen on the case, no mystery will be left unsolved. Yeah, except for the mystery of how to pronounce your last name. <laughs> <laughs> I've analyzed this season's stats. Passing, shooting, possession, Invincible United and us are even in almost every way. That's why we need something special up our sleeves for the Derby. The knuckleball. Exactly. Whoa! It's like we're not moving at all. How does it work? Oh, I was worried you'd ask that. Activate tutorial video. It's very, very simple, see? The carriage construction is an onion skin of steel tubes, each suspended in a fluid of equal density to its interior. This buoyancy creates an inertia dampener, countering any force or acceleration the carriage is exposed to. I mean, how does the training work? Oh, right. Activate training program. Go ahead, give it a try. <laughs> It's three days till the Derby. Get the knuckleball ready by then, and we'll have the advantage over United. <sighs> An entire day of investigating and I haven't found a single mystery. Uh, yeah. And the butler said, if you try to sneak into his room again, he'll throw you off the train. In Inspector von Spectre novels, the butler is always guilty. I know he did it. Uh, did what, dude? I still have to work that out. <clears throat> butler, fancy meeting you here? Chill out, dude. He's just bringing a chow. Hmm. Uh. Oh. <gasps> that guy is definitely up to something. My steak! Finally, a mystery! <laughs> hey, Shakes, man. How's the training? Tiring. What's up with the rest of the guys? Can I have your attention, please? A juicy, delicious steak has been stolen on this very train. And one of you is the culprit. Now, I'm not going to mention any names, only professions. Butler! Uh, I, 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 sorry, everyone. He has an overactive imagination. Uh, yeah, and an underactive brain. Sorry I asked. <laughs> Just stay focused on protecting the knuckleball, man. Invincible United are going to give us a game uh, and a half. Yep, but while they're traveling, I'm practicing. That's going to give us the edge. doing here? You think you're the only one stranded by this stupid ash cloud? But if I'd known you were on this train, I would have walked. Yeah, well, if you'd excuse me, I've got things to do. I can see that. What's in the fancy carriage? Wouldn't you like to know? Tell me. No. Why not? Say pretty please and I'll think about it. Uh, pretty please? E no. Huh? How about I play you for it? And to end in the dining car. First goal wins? Unless... Your chicken. <laughs> and I thought I'd have to wait till the game to kick your butt. <laughs> well, you're definitely going to be kicking yourself when you lose. Brilliant! Oh. 
tackle from Skara. <laughs> Maybe you should concentrate more in the ball and lessen your lame commentary. <gasps> Got you now, loser. <laughs> Sorry. You will be. <laughs> Ow! Surprise! Dinga! Goal! Skara wins! <laughs> you cheated! I said I'd play you. I didn't say it'd be one on one. <laughs> Whoa! Nice! Well, not bad for a second rate team like Super Strikers. What are you doing here? Whoa! What's that? You got your peak. Now, if you'd excuse me. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for the tour. I've seen everything I need to see. <laughs> okay, day two. Knuckleball? Here we go! Before Block does. How's the knuckleball mm -hmm. coming along? Ready for action. <laughs> Skara may have seen the training carriage, but he has no idea what's coming his way. Huh? What are you talking about? Oh, Skara challenged me to a game and. Wait, are you saying Skara is on this train? You're telling me you haven't seen Dingan and Skara? They're pretty hard to miss. Hmm. Wherever those guys go, trouble ain't far behind. Never mind that. We're being left behind. This is not good. And it's about to get worse, Ma. There has to be some kind of emergency system on this thing. Shakes, get me a ball, man. I got an idea. This isn't exactly the time for training, Captain. Training's over, Shakes, man. Time to put the knuckleball into action. Perfected the knuckleball, Shakes Ma! Yeah! <laughs> Gara, we're coming for you! Any luck? Yeah. Nothing. I don't get it. He has to be here somewhere. So let me get this straight. You're saying Invincible United snuck on without anyone noticing, tried to ditch you in the middle of nowhere, and then just disappeared off a moving train. Yeah. I think you've been spending too much time with clouds. Don't worry, guys. The mystery's about to be solved. Excuse me, out of the way. Inspector Klaus von Kliekerhoff incoming through. Sorry I'm late. I had to fetch my mustache. Continue. I know it sounds a bit out there, but who else would want to strand me in the middle of nowhere just before a big game? The mystery of the missing mystery train is coming true. So? Using my powers of logic and deduction, I can confidently say there is one person on this train capable of such a crime. Ugh, oh, can't believe we're doing this. Shakes, once you eliminate the impossible... Yeah, like Skara disappearing off a moving train. Whatever remains, no matter how improbable, must be the truth. In English, please. The butler did it. You again? I told you, I didn't touch your steak. This isn't about a mere steak anymore. This is about... <gasps> that! That's the pig from the training carriage. Uh, I've no idea how that got in here. Save it, butler. The next steak you serve will be in the prison cafeteria. <sighs> it's derby day, and with the volcano still grounding all flights, both teams have been forced to find other ways to get to the game on time. And here come Super Strikers. Hmm? Ah, here they are. 
It was my greatest case. It was your only case. Except the case isn't closed. Match D at Strikerland. Mac, do you think the team's lack of preparation will affect their performances? I don't know if this derby is going to be up to its usual high standards, Brenda. And we're off. Looks like we were wrong, Brenda. Shakes and Scara aren't showing any rustiness from their extended travel time. In fact, they're both in sizzling hot form. It's going to take a real moment of genius to separate these two sides. Trying to ditch me in the middle of nowhere? That's low, even for you, Skara. Don't you read the paper, Shakes? Uh, the butler did it. Uh, you may have tricked everyone else, but I know it was you. Prove it. I don't need to. Your plan failed. The knuckleball is complete. That I can prove. <gasps> I hope. First of many, Skara. Ooh, scary. I'm shaking in my boot. Yeah, I know. That's why you tried to stop me from getting to the game. Please. I didn't even know you were on the training carriage. So you were on the train after all. Mm. I'm sorry, Shakes. Your suspicions were correct all along. It's cool, man. I'm sure even Inspector Von Specker made some mistakes. Skara's plan failed, and we've got the lead. That's all that matters. I'm afraid it is not that simple. What do you mean? Skara admitted that he did not know you were on the training carriage, which means his plan wasn't to stop you from getting to the game. Then what was he up to? Invincible United looked determined to get back on level terms. Out of my way! But after Sheik's wonder goal, they have their work cut out for them. What? What a goal! It looks like it's going to take more than a new move to separate these sides. That's, that's my shot! Oh, his plan wasn't to leave me stranded. It was to steal the knuckleball for himself. So he set the carriage adrift. But then how did he learn the knuckleball and get to the match on time? Proof alibi? Clever play on words? This guy is good. With the lead secured, Invincible United are making their first substitution. Hmm? Klaus, the railway line switched after the train went past. But why? Because Invincible United had another train waiting to pick it up and take them to the game. Hmm? That could also explain how Skara escaped the train, because his getaway was the training carriage. Rasta and I must have been close to catching him in the act. Skara was behind the train robbery. Sorry we ever doubted you, brother. <laughs> yeah, but if you keep scoring goals like that, I don't care what you believe. So you solved the crime. Now let's punish United. Same shooting technique! Do you think they've put aside their differences and are training together? Nah. nah. They can barely handle being on the same field as each other. <laughs> Last chance! Ten Super Strikers <laughs> grab the winner! <laughs> Too bad! Scar grabbed Shakespeare's! Sly move! 
The free kick looks too far out to shoot, even with Sheik's new Thunderbolt. An away draw for United. That'll do. There's still one thing I don't get, Skara. How did you plant the carriage peg in the butler's room if you left on the carriage? Easy, if you got the skill. I was making my getaway when I had a brilliant idea. Inspector Von Dorkface was so determined to bust the butler for something. So you planted the evidence he needed. And with an obvious suspect on the train, it was an open and shut case. <laughs> Pretty clever, Skara. But we're still gonna beat you. Please, time's up. You're gonna have to share the points with us. Just like you shared the knuckleball. Oh, he's right. The peg was the last part of the puzzle, but it's done nothing to swing the game in our favor. Hmm. Peg. Swing. But sometimes, you just gotta live in the moment. So how did you come up with the new move? Uh, that's one mystery I'm gonna keep to myself. And I don't want to give Skara any more credit. Talking about mysteries, where's Klaus? All right, this place is clean. Let's dump this thing before we get busted. But it's so amazing. It feels uh, like we're not moving at all. That's because we are moving, you idiot! We're in the train yard! It is awesome. We could be moving at 100 miles an hour right now, and we wouldn't feel a thing. Finally, the mystery train does disappear with the culprits on board. Thanks again for the help, Inspector Von Gunkel. Um, Klaus is fine. There's a prison cell waiting for those two. Well, once we release the butler. Oh, yeah. Tell him I'm sorry about that. Don't worry. We also thought it was him. Yeah. In Inspector Von Spector's huh? stories, the butler is always guilty. Always guilty. Wait, you guys know Inspector Von Spector? Are you kidding me? He's the reason I became a Super League agent in the first place. Yeah, me too. No ways. We had a poster of him up at the SLDB headquarters. Yeah, big fans. So, do you guys know the Inspector theme song? Do we? Inspector Von Spector, the primo detector. He's got style, he's got class, and a really cool mustache. 